Sup guys, it's Alex here and welcome to the next game of the 2020 NCAA tournament being simulated on NCAA Basketball 10. We have number 9 Oklahoma versus a potential Cinderella story of the tournament in number 16 Prairie View A&M who hit a game winner against Gonzaga which is absolutely crazy to pull off this 16 over 1 upset. The winner of this game will go on to face Michigan in the Sweet 16. This one should be a fun one. I'm definitely going to be rooting for Prairie View A&M in this one. As you can see, Oklahoma is an A-minus all around, so they should definitely handle Preview A&M pretty easily in this one. But you never know. We said the same thing about Gonzaga. Let's see who wins this one, and we'll move on to the Sweet 16. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA tournament. Today's game is between the Prairie View A&M Panthers and the Oklahoma Sweet. And of course, fans as you can see the winner will go on to face number five michigan come on prairie view a and m with the weird names of course i can say the same thing about oklahoma starting lineup here you got sedbury and butts both teams looking to get the ball inside and limit turnovers number nine oklahoma Number 16, Prairie View a &M. Who will be moving on to the Sweet 16? And after all that anticipation, we're underway. Come on, Prairie View a &M. The, the, the other 16 seed who ended up winning was Boston University, and they lost a heartbreaker to Colorado. Colorado ended up moving on as an 8 seed to the Sweet 16. And Oklahoma rises and fires from a deep two. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Raftery. Oklahoma. I think they may end up getting they may be having a virtual home game here. They're playing in a red arena. I don't know whose it is. I guess we'll find out at some point, maybe when they shoot the free throws. Coach P Vam wants to see some more ball reversals. Oklahoma moving the ball around here, finding number 11. Oh, but the, they almost turn it over. Number 13 rises from the wing, does not get it to go. Prairie View A&M is able to corral the defensive rebound. Let's see if they can score. Come on, Prairie View A&M. Look at number zero down low. There it is. He is heading to the line. Oklahoma hacks him. Their coach is pretty happy with that one. He wants to make Prairie View A&M earn him at the free throw line. But he is summing out Gibbons there. I don't really know why he only has that one foul. Rudolph Wyatt. Still can't tell who the who they or which arena they're playing at. Gets the first one to go. Come on. Tie it up here. All you can see is like the American flag and everything. And they get the second to go. It is now two to two. It may be Washington State. I'm looking at those chairs over there that Prairie View and I'm sitting on. I think I see that Cougar logo. Pretty slow first uh, start to the first half. Not going to lie. Oklahoma rise, fi rises fires and they knock it down. As soon as I say that, of course, they get a shot off. Just over three minutes to go here in the first half. Oklahoma takes the 4-2 lead. I think most of my viewers would probably want to see Prairie View A&M move on here. As the 16 seed into the Sweet 16, both teams are playing a balanced style of offense. And the tempo is just barely balanced as well. Prairie View A&M ties it up at four. Looking down low. Good pass, but it gets rejected by Prairie View A&M. Prairie View A&M now getting a chance here to take the lead. We want to see him do it. Working that high pick and roll. Number 11 gets snuffed out by Oklahoma. Turning and firing, though, but it does not connect. Oklahoma is able to corral the rebound. I definitely feel like whoever ends up winning this game will fall to Michigan in the Sweet 16, but you never know. We've seen tons of upsets in this tournament already. Maybe they could upset Michigan either way. Oklahoma 
getting that turnaround shot to go. Prairie View NM's coach wants him to win these last two minutes. Prairie View AM driving, but it gets rejected, and they are now heading to the free throw line. Oklahoma, Ivano Sedberry getting the foul. Rudolph Wyatt getting subbed out for some reason. Knocking down the first one. It is now 6-5. to five. Come on, Prairie View and M. Tie it up here. And they do tie it up. I think four of the six points by Prairie View A&M have come at the line. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Let's see what Oklahoma does. Will they be able to extend that lead again? Looking down low. Could be a turnover if Prairie View A&M saves it, but they do not. They give it right back to Oklahoma, who, of course, gets the splash. They take a 9-6 to six advantage here. Now we're starting to get some scoring here at the end of the first half. Prairie View A&M working that high pick and roll, driving. A little bit of contact there. No foul is called, though. Their coach is happy. He thought that was a good possession. Eventually, those co those shots will fall, according to him. Oklahoma now dribbling the ball on the three-point line, finding number 11. Who finds number five? He just hit that three. Passes it down to number 24, though. Who gets the and one? He is heading to the line. There was a foul on Eric Spencer right there, and yep, we are at Washington State. But he misses the free throw. He's not able to finish off that one and one. Prairie View A&M needs to get some points here. They only have that one basket scored this entire game. Starting to drive a little bit. More contact, but no fouls called yet again. A lot of foul, of potential fouls. Oklahoma rising for three, but their big guy gets the offensive board. He just puts it back in. He was just bullying them. I mean, look at the size of number one compared to the rest of the players for Prairie View a &M. And they call a timeout. So after the timeout here, Prairie View a and talked over. Let's see if whatever play they drew up works. Working that high pick and roll yet again. Number 11 finding 32. They got an open man, number 33 down low. But they find the point guard, number 11, who's able to get it to go. They do get the points there. They bring it to within five. It's looking like Oklahoma's probably going to end up winning this game, but you never know. Looking down low, number five. I thought he was out of bounds. They don't say he was, though. Oklahoma misses the shot. Prairie View A&M with a chance to bring this to within one possession here before the halftime break. Number 11 at three-point line. The smallest guy on the court rises, fires, but misses. Oklahoma now pushing the ball up the floor before halftime. They shoot the half-court shot, and it does not go in. Oklahoma going into the half with a 13-8 lead. I mean, you can just see Prairie View a is only shooting 25%. Let's see what Oklahoma can do here coming out of the break. Will they extend their lead and go on to the Sweet 16? Oklahoma at that wing. They love that free throw wing this game. For three, a deep one. Does not connect, but they get the offensive rebound and put it back in. Number one is just a beast down low. They take the 15-8 to eight lead now. Could we see three? Or hold on. Prairie View A&M Prairie misses their shot. Will we see three of the eight and nine seeds in the Sweet 16? We saw Houston as the eight upset number one Kansas earlier here in the second round. Then we saw number eight Colorado move on past number 16, Boston University. And now we're seeing Oklahoma here on an 11-2 run as a nine seed. 
probably going to beat number 16 Prairie View A&M, and then and Prairie View A&M misses. They airball the fadeaway layup attempt. I'm not sure what the heck they're trying to do right now. It's looking like Oklahoma is going to end up moving on to the Sweet 16, but you never know. There could be an upset. Oh, whoa! What a weird shot by number 24, but it works. I mean, they get the points regardless. It is now 19 to 8. Prairie View A&M 2 for 10 from the field this game. Gonzaga's asking where that performance was against them. And that fadeaway gets blocked by Oklahoma. Prairie View A&M's coach, you are right. This is bad offense. Three twenty left to go here in this ball game. Number five that at that free throw line, Oklahoma loves shooting those shots. And number one again getting the rebound and laying it in. Prairie View A and M just has no answer for him down low. They take the twenty one to eight lead now. Prairie View A and M has not scored in the last two and a half minutes of game time. They're driving contact, no foul though. And again, they miss. Their coach wants them to swing the ball. I mean, this I mean, this one's probably over. I wouldn't blame you guys if you're still watching at this point. Two skip to the end. 2.38 to go in this ball game. It's looking like it's going to be a murder. And then Prairie View A&M, for some reason, decides to reach in. Moses Mayo hasn't even gotten a shot off this game. Two thirty to go here in the second half. Oklahoma working the pick and roll, finding number twenty-four, who finds number eleven down low and lays it in. Oklahoma now on a what is that? A twelve to two run, maybe a fourteen to two run, something like that. Prairie View A and M calls another timeout. Just over two minutes to go here in the second half. Coming out of the timeout, this one's over. I'm honestly hoping Prairie View A and M doesn't foul at the end of the game. Unless they can somehow cut into this lead, they're down by 15 with two minutes to go. Never say never, I guess. Number whoever that is for three, miss, number 11, he misses the shot. Not surprising with the way they've played in this game so far. They haven't even scored 10 points in the full game. Looking down low, finding number five who gets rejected, and look who it is. Number one, getting the rebound and putting it back, and who else? Oklahoma fans trying to get their team to warm up the bus. Prairie View A&M does hit the three. They get the splash, but it's hard for me to get hype for them at this point. Looking down low, finding number 11, who does get rejected. Can Prairie View A&M get a quick three here? Number 11, finding whoever that is down low. A deep two for Prairie View A&M does connect. But all this is coming too late into the game, though, is the issue. Just over a minute to go here in the ball game. Oklahoma finding themselves up 12, and now Prairie View and Prairie View A&M is doing the intentional fouls. I'll pick it up once we get to the one one. So this should be the foul that puts Oklahoma into the bonus. 59 seconds to go. I don't know why Prairie View and A&M keeps fouling, and yet now Oklahoma is at the line. Looking to extend this lead. But they miss it. The outlet pass by Prairie View a and I don't know. Why would you call a timeout there? Just get those two points. Stupid coaching. So I don't know why they took that timeout. I guess they're going for a three here. And of course they miss. But they get the rebound and they slam it back in. I guess we're going to see some more fouls here. They're just extending the game. And now they're subbing everybody back in. Ivano Sedberry with the weird name. Four points in this ballgame. Knocks down the first one. J Red, 52 seconds to go in the ballgame. Check out his channel if you're still watching the video at this point. They missed the second one, though. They take another timeout. I don't know why. So here we go. Let's see what Prairie View and A&M actually decided to do in their timeout. They almost turned the ball over. Oklahoma get, almost gets the steal. They do hit the three, though. It's an eight-point game, but it's still too little too late. Now they're still doing the fouling. 
Where was this offense by Prairie View A&M earlier in the game? That's what I want to know. Five points for Ivano Sedberry. He's only one for three at the line, though, this game. Knocks down the first one to make it a nine-point game. And he gets a second one to go. It is now a ten-point game. It's pretty much over. Trying to just move the ball. They have an open guy for three over there in the corner. And they turn the ball over. Stop intentionally fouling for you, a and You just keep making this video even longer. Warm up the bus. Warm up the bus. Anthony Butts is only one for five in this ball game, but he did have a huge three earlier in the game. I'll give him credit for that. Makes the free throw. Knocks down the second one, and now he is getting subbed out for the game. He had a pretty decent one. I will give him credit for that. Prairie View A&M looking to bring this back to within like 10 or maybe even 9. Finding number one. I thought he was going to shoot that three. They rise and fire anyway, and don't knock it down. Now they are calling off the dogs. Oklahoma, as a nine seed, is going to walk out of here with the W and move on to the Sweet 16. Prairie View A&M was reaching, and Oklahoma's got to be teaching. They find number one down there. So Oklahoma will move on past number 16, Prairie View A&M. Both 16 seeds have fallen here in the round of 32. The two Eric's lead the way for both of their teams. Number one was getting pretty happy. He had a fantastic game. So we will see. Well, that would be a great matchup in college football. Number five, Michigan versus nine, Oklahoma in the Sweet 16. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next game.